they they gave me the opportunity to find my market for the grant. They had sponsors that were sponsoring the, the, the local chapter. When I went to the local chapter, there were some mentors there that helped me get started. But the, the opportunity came that they had sponsors that, for our grant. The alfalfa site, I had a market for it. Not that I have now, but I had a market for it. As soon as the people found out that I had a organic alfalfa, that opened up a whole new venue that I had opportunity to market. But on the grain side, I had no clue where to market any of my grain. Um, OCIA opened the doors. They said, um, these are our people that are sponsoring us. Contact them. They was very easy to work with and uh, get the grain marketed. They bring the semi to my place. I have an on-farm <coughs> price. I don't have to worry about freight. That's all taken care of. And so that was a whole different concept because before everything, it was, you had freight on board from the farm to the market. That's taken out. So do you even have to go to a co-op no, or anything like that? No, I don't. Don't do anything. And uh, so the... You've eliminated the middleman, more or less. eliminated the middleman. We go straight to our market. And that's the cool thing about organic is you don't have to have all this infrastructure in between. All you have to have is a place to store your grain on farm that's uh, certifiable and uh, the inspector can come look at it. Okay, that's your grain storage. Um, this is your equipment that you're using. We're using all organic, uh, uh, all of our grain is organic. So we have no clean out issues. Everything is done. The only uh, issues we got is our buffer grain. My buffer grain, I burn, a, I got a corn burning furnace. So I just take all my buffer grain and I use that in my furnace. I run it across the scale, get the certified weight, and I'm done. I don't have to uh, worry about taking grain to that anymore. 